Van der Merwe is set to reach a century of appearances for the Warriors' credit, Rex when DTH Van der Merwe returned to Scottsdown from Scarlets via Newcastle Falcons earlier this season, it felt like he'd never been away. The wing scored a brace on his return match against Zebra and the top try scorer in Glasgow Warriors history has been a constant threat ever since. Against Edinburgh in the deciding 1872 Cup game tomorrow evening, Glasgow are hoping that the Canadian will recapture his old derby form as he makes his 100th appearance for the Warriors. Van der Merwe has had a number of sparring partners in 1872 Cup games down the years, tomorrow's opponent Dougie Fife is one, although his most determined adversary was Tim Visser, but the wing only has happy memories of derby games against Edinburgh. I scored a try on my first time at Murrayfield, says Van der Merwe. Dan Parks put a grubber, kick through into the left-hand corner as you come out of the tunnel. That was my first 1872 Cup game. When I came to Glasgow there were maybe 1,000 or 1,500 people at Fairhill, but for the Derby we'd get 5,000 people so it was a big day. I always remember those real big battles, we didn't have an upper hand in those games, Edinburgh were probably the favourites. Despite 14-man Edinburgh winning 18-17 the last time these two sides met at Murrayfield just before Christmas, Richard Cockerill's men are certainly not the favourites this time in a match that is too close to call. Although Edinburgh at first sight have the greater motivation, depending on what happens at Thomond Park they could need a point to progress to their first Pro 14 quarterfinal, Glasgow's players are all auditioning for a place in the Warriors' home semi-final lineup. Van der Merwe has happy memories of Murrayfield credit, Rex yet just as Glasgow used to regularly upset an Edinburgh side packed with star players, so Van der Merwe believes tomorrow's match will be as close as during his previous six seasons with the Warriors. It's just a derby game, and all form goes out of the window when you are playing a derby game. That's also true in Wales. Teams just bring a different perspective to the game, it's more niggly. Personally, I like the niggly bits but fights like that famous confrontation between Chris Fusaro and Scott McLeod, that stuff doesn't really happen anymore, there are too many cameras around. I am sure there are a few little digs that go on in the middle of a ruck though. Given Van der Merwe's penchant for a bit of the rough stuff, fans of both teams will be disappointed that DTH's Edinburgh namesake, Doohan Van der Merwe, is on the opposite wing, meaning that Tommy Seymour has to cope with the rampaging South African. In many ways that confrontation between Doohan, he's a massive ball carrier who scores tries, has really good leg drive and is a big boy, says DTH in obvious relief, and Seymour encapsulates the varying approaches of the two sides. Edinburgh under Cockerill are way more expansive than under Alan Solomons, but they still like to muscle up and be direct, whereas Glasgow's more rapier-like qualities were neatly encapsulated in Dave Rennie's decision to select Quicksilver young scrum half George Horn ahead of Henry Pyrgos and Ali Price, who failed to even make the bench. If their styles contrast, both Edinburgh and Glasgow have the same perceived deficiency. Both are in danger of being written off as flat-track bullies who are good when the Welsh and Irish sides rest their best players in the Pro 14, but who come a proper in Europe and at the business end of the Pro 14 season. Edinburgh's emphatic defeats by Cardiff and Ulster are Exhibit A for the prosecution, with Glasgow Champions Cup campaign admittedly in the fabled pool of death against the league leaders in France, England and Ireland, and last week's defeat by Ulster being Exhibit B. Van der Merwe stresses that Gregor Townsend's Glasgow team were so good at winning tight games because they had come through together, playing in the Fur Hill Mud as youngsters in front of barely a thousand fans, growing together as a team. With Ryan Wilson and Johnny Gray returning, the wing believes this incarnation of Warriors can also conjure up that cussedness and sheer will to win, but concedes that now is the time for deeds, not words. I think the belief is still there for the boys to win those big games. I wasn't here for some of the bigger games at the beginning of the season, Europe especially, but it was a tough draw. But I still believe that Glasgow has a team, has a squad that can compete at the top level on any given day. Not that it matters who is top dog right now, this is all about Edinburgh and Glasgow, nothing else.